Welcome to Danger Goggles, I'm Jacob, and in today's episode we'll be working on the rear suspension and getting all the brakes wrapped up. We're here at the back axle, we're going to pull the wheel off and all the suspension so we can get that cleaned up, put new suspension bushings in. Pretty sure the brake drum is also frozen on this wheel. So we'll get this off and see what we got. <laughs> that looks disgusting. The only tire that actually held air. So what we've got to do to get this off, is I've got a new flex line for the brakes. I'm going to cut that. There's two suspension bolts and some bushings in this trailing arm. I'm going to pull those out. I'm going to pull the nut off the bottom of the shock and get the bolts out of the, that connect the axle to the hub. So we'll get that done, get all this cleaned up, and we'll come back to you when we're ready to put it on. We have our suspension arm all cleaned up. We've got new bushings, new master cylinder, and new brake line on it. I'm gonna get the rest of the brakes, the shoes, and springs assembled on this, and then we'll get it back in the car. We have our suspension all assembled, brakes put on, ready to go back on. Uh, just a quick note, when you take the, these out, there will be shims on either side of the bushings. What I've done here is just keep track of where each shim pack goes, counted the number of shims, and just separated them by zip ties so I know two go on this side of the bushing, and then four go on the back side. I've done that for both bushings. That just kind of helps me put it back together and keep the original alignment. I put the passenger side together and had to remove some shims because the new bushings didn't quite fit right. But we're gonna try to get it close and we'll take it to an alignment shop once we're ready. So let's start putting this thing in. We've got the suspension installed and all the brakes done on all four corners, so that's taken care of. Uh, when you're putting the suspension in, put the bolts in before you put the spring in so you're not fighting it trying to get the bolts in. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is finish bending the rest of the brake lines and install the master cylinder. And then when we come back next time, we'll get started on the engine. Uh, do an inspection and tear down and see what it looks like. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. 